Southwestern cuisine really is my roots. I'm born and raised here in Arizona. But working here at Elements and Sanctuary really opened up my eyes to regional Asian cuisine. And when I studied up at the Culinary Institute of America up in Hyde Park, New York, when I took Asia's, there was, there was this like natural like yearning for it. It was almost, I, I could recognize the ingredients so easily and associate with them just like I did with my Southwestern roots. And when you have that like deep emotional connection with like a fermented chili paste, you're kind of, kind of, I mean, it changes your whole experience in the kitchen because it brings an emotional aspect. One summer I wanted to like save up, uh, start saving up for a car when I was like 14 years old. I was totally a very responsible pre-planner. And I got a job as a bag boy at a grocery store so that I could be around ingredients and, and use my store discount to start experimenting with ingredients. Uh, and that lasted for a little while. And then when I turned 16, I got my first restaurant job as a prep cook at the JW Desert Ridge Marriott. I, I really committed myself to this industry and kind of blurred the line at a young age of personal life and career and really just associated myself with the craft. When you think of a young person cooking, you think of a college student making mac and cheese or grilled cheese, which is not my perspective at all. If a young person is bringing gourmet technique to people at home through network television, it's really going to inspire not only young people to get cooking and be like, oh my gosh, I can do this, but people in later generations that feel that they're not good cooks because it's, I don't believe that at all. I think when someone says, oh, I can't cook, I'm like, yes, you can. Like, you just need to maybe mess up a couple of times and then you'll be set. I mean, because we all make mistakes in the kitchen and that's really where it, it builds character um, and, and really it's the love of it.